Hello, my name is Juan and right now I'm gonna show you how to make a cream for the treatment of keratinization of the skin. It's called Uguentum Cabamidi, containing urea. <clears throat> the reason why this cream is against keratolite, the, the keratin in the skin, is that the lactic acid content of the cream will actually dissolve the keratin, for example, you see on your fingers. Due to some reason, it becomes keratinized and it's really itchy or sometimes very annoying. <clears throat> so you need to remove them. Also, this cream has very good antibacterial effect, antifungal actions. Also, the urea itself is very hydrophilic, so it will hydrate the skin quickly and efficiently. Let's start. First of all, of course, we have to melt the components. The ointment basis being used today is the Uguentum Emulsificans Non Ionicums in Latin, which means non ionic ointment. <clears throat> For this 100 gram preparation, we need 40 grams of the oil. That should be enough. 39.7. have some paper to wipe them out. And then you need to melt them under this hot plate. And write the tear, 39.7 grams base. <clears throat> the next thing, you need to dissolve the urea in a mixture of lactic acid and water. Ten grams of urea. Nine point nine, it should be enough. Next thing is lactic acid. You need five grams. around more or less, I think, enough. And the water, which is 45 grams, you might need to divide into two portions to dissolve this urea, because when it gets uh, a bit too high, it might be difficult to 
Mix them. It's okay to use uh, the other side of the spoon if you already wash them. And always mix not on the balance itself. As you can see, the base it's been melted. It will take more or less, I think, five to ten minutes for everything to dissolve. Meanwhile, we, might, we need to dissolve this urea. As you can see here, there's still some particles which are difficult to dissolve. Normally, you would need a pan, you would need uh, to uh, grind them. But it doesn't really matter because once I put it on top of here, it will melt. It will dissolve more due to the temperature differences. We need to wait for these two components to have the same temperature, because why? Once the temperature is different between the two phases, the watery phase and the ointment phase, there will be <clears throat> some tiny bit of explosion, and that will not be so fancy. Let's wait. Okay. So after around 10 minutes, you can see here, the urea has already 100% dissolved in the solution. Also, the base has already melted. Pretty good here. Here comes the next step. We will mix them together. Thing is, you always have to ensure that you mix everything slowly and thoroughly to ensure nice green formation but not nasty precipitation We have here a nice mixture with good consistency. Continue to mix them until they they get uh, cooler, and then I'll add some lemon oil or peppermint oil according to taste. This cream itself it's very antiseptic. It's also very antifungal. 
so we don't need to add solucio conservants or preservative. That's what I like about this kind of cream because basically it's very it's very antiseptic itself. So here we're done with most of the part. You can see the cream has cooled down. It has quite good consistency. I don't know if you can see it from my camera, but okay. So, as the cream contain lactic acid, which is very, very sour, I would suggest adding some drops of peppermint oil to hinder the taste or the smell. Well, let's try first five drops. This oil is very strong. And the next one again. Wow, well, I can see, I can hear, I can uh, smell that, that the peppermint has already hindered the sour taste. Basically, we're done. It's ready to be put into the container and ready to be used. The expiry date is around half a year. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.